If there's one thing I absolutely cannot stand about Shopify, it's their emails because they kind of suck. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Chrissy and I help struggling and aspiring product-based businesses launch shops that not only get seen, but also make money online and see a return for all of the effort you are putting out on the internet. And today I wanted to talk a little bit about the emails that your customer receives when they are shopping through your Shopify store, why I don't really like the setup that Shopify has and the customization options that they give you. And I'm also going to be sharing my not so secret hack for how you can customize your emails and how I create super on-brand exciting emails for my clients so that their customers are getting an on-brand experience from start to finish of their journey. But before we jump in to the meat of this video, if you are new here and you haven't already, make sure to hit that red button down below and subscribe. I post new videos every week all about turning your passion into your business. Okay, so let's start off this video why are the emails that you send your customer so important? So with an online based business, unlike with a brick and mortar store, your emails are really going to be the only time you are interacting with your customer from the start of their journey. So from when they purchase to when they actually receive their product and beyond if you do have advanced automations set up. So your emails are speaking for you and they're making sure that your customer understands that you are here for them, you value their business, and it also helps guide your customer along to where you want them to go post purchase. So most times when I do work with clients and when I talk to my students, they don't really think about customizing these emails within the Shopify platform themselves. They think like if they're using a platform like Shopify, Shopify knows what they're doing. The emails are gonna be bombed. They don't need to really worry about them. But honestly, the emails that Shopify provides within its platform are very basic and they have very little customization options and they're kind of robotic. And if you're like me, I like to throw my personality and my brand voice into like everything that I do. So if you're on my email list, you will know that I really talk very conversationally. So if my customers were to get an automated email from any of my softwares that I use, you would more than likely be able to tell that it's not something that I wrote and it's something that's automated. And that's not the experience that I want my um, customers to have and my subscribers to have. And it's not something that I know my clients want their customers to have. So not only are Shopify's email templates kind of robotic, but when you actually go to edit these templates, it's really confusing. And you might be totally put off from editing them in the first place when you see the options that Shopify gives you. So I'm sure if you've gone into your Shopify settings and you've taken a look at the different emails that Shopify provides you, you will know what I'm talking about when I say that you kind of need to like understand a little bit of code to edit these emails. And honestly, I just think that's like really a weird choice on Shopify's part, but that's a whole other story for a different day. That's not what we're talking about today. What I am here to talk to you about today is how you can actually hack the system and how you can edit your emails to be on brand and super appealing for your customers without actually having to know code at all. Well, I take that back. There is one tiny little bit of code, but I'm going to tell you exactly what it is. So instead of just explaining it in this kind of format, I'm actually going to jump over to a screen recording that I did walking you through step-by-step step everything that you need to do to customize your emails, how to plug them into Shopify and how to do that little bit of code that I'm talking about. You'll see, you'll know what I'm talking about in one second. Okay. So we're going to jump over to my computer and I will be right back. Okay, so as we can see, this is really the only option you have for editing a Shopify email. Um, you have to know a little bit of code. You have to kind of like search through here to see what you can change, what you can't change, stuff like that. And then when you do go around and change it, this is really the best you can get unless you know like advanced coding to make it a little bit more on brand. And maybe this is okay for you, but we could do a lot better. So this is my little hack. So what you're going to do is you are going to go to Clavio.com and then you're going to go to email templates. Now Clavio is free, um, totally free. There's no like free trial or anything. I've had this for months, totally free. 
So you're going to go to email templates and you're going to create a template. And then you will see up here that they actually have a whole section for Shopify notification templates. So you can use this method for any of these um, templates that you see here. These, the way they've coded these emails, they will work when you copy and paste the code into Shopify, which I'm going to show you how to do. So let's go ahead and go into your order confirmation and we're just going to do YouTube example. So this is what you're going to see. And then from here, it's really awesome because it's literally just drag and drop. So say for example, you already have the social links down here, but say for example, you like want them higher on your email. You can just grab this social links and insert it into your email. You can add as many social links as you want here, and then you can save it. And that is what's going to be in your email. So it's really awesome in the fact that it is drag and drop. Um, you can also add like specific products from your shop in here, which is awesome. Um, if you want to like cross promote, I wouldn't suggest probably putting products in your order confirmation email, but maybe in another email, you might want to put products in there. You can add a picture in here, which I don't have pictures in here <laughs> besides um, ones that I'm not going to use for this example, but you can add a picture in here. Like if you want to create an on-brand banner that says like, thank you for your purchase, you can do that. Have all of the information here that you want about like joining your Facebook community or your Instagram or something like that. And then you have the order details, which is what people want to see in obviously their order confirmation. So let's say, for example, you go through all of this, you save it and you return to templates. Now, what you're going to do is you're going to see our YouTube example here. So what you're going to do is you're going to create, or you're going to click these three dots and then you're going to hit export. And this looks scary, but I'm going to show you exactly what you need to do. So go ahead and copy this. And then what you're going to do is you're going to go back to Shopify. You're going to go in here and you're going to delete all of this code. I know scary. It'll be fine. Look, there's a little revert to default button there. So if you mess up, you can just start all over. And then what you're going to do is you are going to paste the code that we just copied from Clavio. So now when you hit preview, you are going to see the um, template that we edited and created within Clavio. And obviously I didn't really make this on brand like at all. I didn't do anything. But this is what you're going to see. You're going to see essentially what you created in Clavio. Now, you'll see at the bottom here that there's Clavio branding there. Now, I'm not saying you should do this, but you can get rid of the Clavio branding. I'm going to show you how. <laughs> so, let me go all the way to the bottom. So, if you go to this section right here, and I will copy and paste what you need to search for and what you need to find um, in the description box so you can do this really easily. You are going to delete all of this right here until you get to here. You're going to delete that. And I'm going to, like I said, copy and paste it in the description box for you. And then the Clavio branding is gone. Everybody just thinks it's an in-house Shopify email. Not saying you should do that because technically you should be paying for Clavio if you want the branding removed, but yeah, you didn't hear that from me. Um, so yeah, like I said, Clavio is really awesome. They have a ton of templates that you can choose from. Something that as well I think is pretty cool is, let me go back to the templates here. If you edit it, you can add drop shadows. So you can like add a drop shadow underneath your header image, which I think looks really cool. And then you can add a drop shadow like underneath this line at the bottom. You don't even have to have a line, but it just looks really cool and just adds a little bit of extra pizzazz, I guess, if you want to say that. So yeah, that is my little hack with Clavio. Like I said, you can really use it for as many templates as they offer. 
um, even though you might not actually need them all in your shop. So as you can see, once we change our emails from something like this to something like this, it is a lot more of an appealing experience for your customer. And like I talked about before, if you have these emails through different stages of your customer's journey, like the order confirmation, the shipping confirmation, the delivery confirmation, and then if you also have a post-purchase series set up through your email provider, you are really going to be killing it and giving your customer that on-brand experience from start to finish and beyond. So now that we know how to actually create these beautiful emails that are gonna wow your customers through the journey, what should you include in these emails? So obviously with the order confirmation, you wanna include the basics. This is what you ordered. This is your shipping address, your billing address, yada, 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 yada. yada. I already showed you how to put them into your emails within the screen recording. But another good idea in your order confirmation email is to let your customer know where else they can find you online. So while they're waiting for their order to ship, can they join a Facebook community and kind of get to know the community a little bit more? Can they follow you on Instagram for like order updates and behind the scenes of actually creating orders and packaging orders? Can they follow you on YouTube? Direct your customer away from their inbox and into another social media stream that you have for them. This is an amazing opportunity to convert a one-time customer into a lifelong fan by welcoming them into your community. Okay, so I went ahead and I did a little example here. I just created this template in Canva and if you search um, email header in Canva, this size will pop up and it works perfectly for these. So you can insert your header there. I did also edit this just to show you an example of what I would maybe put in my order processing email. And something else that I wanted to mention too is that Clavio has this option here. So if you're familiar with like email marketing in general, you know that you can insert certain rules that will basically put your subscriber's first name into the email. So you can actually do that here. So when you're writing out your email copy, you can hit insert property and it has all of these different options here. So you can put first name, email address, um, anything like that. You probably only really need your first name or even like the order number or something like that. So you can put that there and then the customer's first name will actually show up. So it makes it a little bit more personal. So something else that I did just want to say is it might be a good idea to also put a first name tag in the subject line. Um, just makes it a little bit more personal. And this is in particular for like abandoned cart emails, making those a little bit more personal so people click on them. But you can absolutely add that tag into the email subject line and edit this up to make it a little bit more on brand and your style. So I'm just gonna go ahead and save that and then I'm gonna preview this. And now this is what my email will look like to my customer. So it's just a lot more on brand, a lot more personal. And if you want, you can also change these to be your on brand colors. Likewise, for the shipping confirmation emails, you can tell them that they should expect to see updates within 24 to 48 hours, depending on what your chosen um, shipping provider tells you. And then with the delivery confirmation email, this is obviously optional. You don't have to have a delivery confirmation email, but I think this is a great opportunity to make sure that your customer is 100% happy. So one, if they didn't actually receive their order, make sure that they know that they can contact you and you can help them figure that out. Two, if they have a damaged product or if it's just not kind of what they were expecting, you should be opening up that dialogue to make sure that you are making them a happy customer and you are 100% satisfying their needs. And then likewise, you can also tell them if they haven't joined those communities, now that they have your product, let's go talk about it. Let's go rave about it. Let's go give each other tips on how to use your product in my Facebook community or on Instagram or within my YouTube channel. These are all great 
areas and opportunities to convert that customer into a long time fan. So I hope this video was helpful. If you are thinking about making the switch to Shopify, I actually have a free checklist of everything that you need to do to set up your Shopify store. So if you're just watching this video and you're like, I don't know if I want to switch to Shopify or not, do it. You will not regret it. And check out that checklist in the description box down below. Like I said, if you haven't already, make sure to hit that red button. I will be back to you next week with another video. Until then, stay safe and have a great day.